In this video, we're going to look at how we can find a missing value if we are given a measure of center. We're going to look specifically at the mean, and we want to recall that the mean is where all the items are the same, or all the data is spread out evenly between all the different possible entries. So we'll use this concept, and if we know the mean, and are missing one of the values, what we can do is we can calculate the sum or total using the assumption that they are all spread out evenly with the mean. So let's take a look at an example where we calculate the sum using the mean. Here we're told on three tests, a student earns an 83, a 71, and an 81. She wants her average on all four tests to be 80 percent. We can calculate the sum that she needs to shoot for, assuming that the mean, the average, means all four tests were the same, or all four tests she got an 80 percent on. That's what mean is. If they're all the same, all four would be 80 percent. Well, if there's 80 percent on four tests, we can do 80 times 4, she needs 320 points in order to get that average or mean of 80 percent. She's already done a lot of the work, though. She's already done an 83. She's already done a 71. And she's already done an 81. If we add that up on our calculator real fast, 83, 81, and 71 equals 235 points that she's earned so far. So in order to reach this goal of 80 percent, what does she need? Well, 320 is the total, 235 is what we already have. We simply need to subtract what we are shooting for and what we've already got done. 320 minus the 235 tells us how many more points she needs on that last test in order to achieve that average she's shooting for. She needs an 85 percent. That would make all four tests average, if they were the same, to 80 percent. Let's try another one. Here, another student has a goal of 90 percent. That's what she's shooting for, or he's shooting for, on four tests. So the sum of all the tests, mean, average means they're all the same, four tests, all the same at 90 percent, four times 90 gives us 360 total points that this student has earned. She's already done a lot of the work. She's done a 92. She had one bad test at 75, and another test at 89. Adding up 92 plus 75 plus 89 tells us that she has earned, whoops, there we go, that she has earned 256 points. So what does she need? In order to reach her goal of 90 percent, well, 360 is the total. Subtract out what she has already, 256, and what we find out is that she needs 104 percent. Question asks, is it possible for him? Sorry, I think I keep changing the gender. Is it possible for him to reach this goal of 90? It's probably not possible because he's probably not going to get 104 percent without, we'll say, 4 percent extra credit. So maybe if this instructor is nice, he'll get 4 percent extra credit somehow, and we'll get a perfect score on the last test with the 4 percent extra credit, and we'll reach our goal. So if we have a missing value, we can calculate the sum that we're shooting for, by multiplying the number of tests times the average we want, subtract out what's done to find what we need.